Hello everyone, my name is Yash. I'm a product manager at Fix Software. Today I'm here to demo a new feature called Shear Dashboards. So with this feature, we are giving our users the ability to create a brand new Shear Dashboard and to share it with their users. And we are also giving them the ability to lock those Shear Dashboards so that no one else be able to edit them other than administrators and managers. And this is very much required for data consistency purposes. So jumping on to a quick demo of Shear Dashboards. So as you can see here, I'm on my Shear Dashboard uh, right now. And this is a small little icon here that differentiates the Shear Dashboard from a regular standard dashboard. So this is my regular standard dashboard. It does not have that icon. Uh, so I'm going to go to step number two. I'm going to go and create a new Shear Dashboard. So in order to create a new Shear Dashboard, a user has to click on this plus button. And when a user click on this plus button, he will he, he or she will see add a dashboard screen. And on this screen, there is a new Shear Dashboard tell, which has a create button on it. We'll click on this create button. Uh, let's click here. And then we see another pop-up screen that says, that asks us to select which, what kind of dashboard do we want to create? So we can either go with just a blank dashboard, or we can select uh, one of the dashboard, one of the one of the pre-existing standard dashboard template. So I'm going to select administrator dashboard. Uh, I'm going to click OK, and here you go. I will land on the shared dashboard screen of my newly created Shear Dashboard. So let's start with changing a name. So I'm creating this Shear Dashboard for Maintenance Managers. So therefore, I'm going to call it Maintenance Managers Dashboard. And uh, I don't want them to see uh, this uh, these two widgets. So I'm taking it off. Um, and then, then I'm saving my changes. So I can hit Save, Proceed. And my Shear Dashboard is successfully created. So I have successfully created it. So what, what do I need to do to assign it to my maintenance managers? So in order to do that, I need to click on Settings, this one. And then we'll go to CMMS Settings and the Dashboard Permissions tab. So the Dashboard Permissions tab has all the permissions um, about dashboard assignment. So we'll see a user group and all the dash different dashboards that are assigned to those user groups. So my maintenance managers group is right there. Um, I'll click on this drop down and I will select the maintenance managers dashboard. And as you can see, even on this drop down, we have done a wonderful job in order to differentiate between the standard dashboards and the shear dashboards. I'm going to go ahead and click it, select it, maintenance managers dashboard. Um, let me also save my changes. And one other quick note, we can also lock down whether the non-administrators and non-manager users can edit their views or not. So in order to do that, we'll, we have this small checkbox. And when this is unchecked, that means those users will not be able to edit their dashboard views. So let's hit Save. Awesome. Um, one last thing which I would like to demo is how can we get rid of these dashboards, the shear dashboards? So um, we can we can reach a stage when we have a lot of dashboards, but they are not very useful. So we added a delete functionality in order to uh, like properly manage how many dashboards you want to have in your CMS. So there's a there's there's a small there's a drop down button right there. Um, for the delete dashboard. So there are two types of delete, which we have added. The one is delete from view. Uh, we added that because, as you can see, I have number of tabs open. And it can grow, you know, like larger numbers. So I can. So how can I successfully manage that? How many tabs are open uh, on my view? So for that, I can use the delete from view uh, selection. And if I want to delete the shared dashboard permanently from the system, then I'll use delete permanently. So I want to delete it permanently. So let's click here on delete permanently option. Let's hit delete and it's gone. And as you can see, I will also not be able to find the maintenance managers dashboard here on the list. So this is all the great stuff that we have worked on. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.